Hello and welcome back to lesson 54 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 53, we started inserting the various formulas that can help us to fetch the data from the fees payment database system onto the official fees payment receipt for printing so if you are new to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for all as we continue inspecting the formulas that can help us to fetch data from the fees payment database system onto this official fees payment receipt please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon for all make sure that you follow the lesson vividly so that you understand everything all right, so let's just continue inserting our formulas. So we are moving to the seventh column. So you insert your equal to sign like this. Control V to paste. So we will change the one here to seven like this. Then we press enter. We are moving to the next column. That is going to be installment two. The next column is going to be installment 2. So you insert your equal to sign like this. Control V to paste. Then you change the one here to 8. Then you press enter. We should be able to see some figure there. Then let's move to the ninth column here. So you insert your equal to sign. Control V to paste. Then we change the one here to nine you press enter we should be able to see another figure there we are moving to the tenth column here so just insert your equal to sign as usual control v to paste like this then we change this one here to 10 so just add zero to the one there and press enter we should be able to see the fourth installment the figure popping up for the fourth installment there so we are moving to the next column that is going to be the receive column we are going to the receive column so just insert your equal to sign like this then you control v to paste like this then in this case we are going to change the one to 11 then you press enter we should be able to see 400 Ghana CDs here as amount received. Please let's check something here. We have the first installment 50 CDs. We have the second installment uh, 100 Ghana CDs. We have the third installment 50 Ghana CDs. We have the fourth installment 200 Ghana CDs. So all is making 400 Ghana CDs because the fee for basic three learners or basic three students is 400 Ghana CDs. So it means this person has paid all the 400 Ghana cities. That is why this particular column here is showing 400 Ghana cities. So we are moving to the next column. That is going to be the 12th column. So we insert our equal to sign like this. Control V to paste the formula. Then we change it to 12. We want to see the balance. So the balance here is zero. It means the student is not owing the school. And the school is also not owing the student. All right, so we are moving to the last one here. That is going to be the 13th column. And that column is representing the status. So we insert equal to sign like this. Control V to paste the formula. Then we change this one to 13. You hit enter. We should be able to see the status of this particular student so thank you very much for watching this video we don't want this video to be long so we would like to end it here and continue in lesson 55 in lesson 55 we are going to work on the formula that can help us to print this particular receipt for each and every student so don't miss that interesting lesson make yourself available as we upload that particular video onto this channel so till we meet in lesson 55 i say bye bye